On Wednesday, October 23rd, employees at the West Care Perry Klein Shelter in Pikeville set out to help unhoused individuals by donating over 100 gift bags. The bags contain blankets, Narcan, toiletries, and other essential items. West Care employees were able to make this possible with help from volunteers at the Pikeville Church of God. We're going to be in Phelps, we're going to be in Jones Creek area, Virgie area, South Williamson area, and of course the Pikeville area as well. And which we, we, we try to find all the encampments that we can, and so we encourage the public to let us know. If they know somewhere that we don't know or that we're not showing up, please let us know. Reach out to us on our Facebook page and let us know that you know of someone who needs one of these bags or you know of a, uh, someone who's living under a bridge somewhere that we don't know about. Um, we just encourage the public to let us know if there's a need and if we can feel it, we will definitely be there. Um, in conjunction also, um, Kentucky Phoenix Project, Pat, uh, Pat Sanders helps us from from that uh, organization, and so we have a, a great team of just community and outreach here that just helps us to, to get these projects completed. We could not do it alone. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Any leftover bags are given to organizations who may encounter the homeless. For those that want to contribute, Westcare is accepting certain items from the public. When it starts to turn cold, we like to give these out to anyone who might come into contact with the homeless, such as um, the sheriff's department, the city police, the fire departments, the state police, and try to allow them to have one or two bags on them at all times so that in case they run into someone who is homeless and who is suffering from the cold weather, that they can go ahead and give those out. And then with the remain, remaining ones, we just go around to all the places that we know of where people are living underneath the bridges or in encampments and things like that. Anything, anyone that anyone wants to bring in to us as far as coats, hats, scarves, gloves, socks, um, hot hands, any of those things, we're more than willing to take um, donations on that as well. If anyone just has them they want to drop off and we'll make those into bags as well as we come up on this uh, cold winter days. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.